हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर्स ऑफ सिग्नल सेंस सिस्टम द टॉपिक ऑफ कुरियर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस सिग्नल इन एल टी आई सिस्टम दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ द टू डेज लेक्चर बिफोर स्टार्ट दू डेज लेक्चर वी समराइज द प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द एल टी आई सिस्टम वेन वी रिप्रेजेंट द सिग्नल्स and uh, in terms of the complex exponentials and we have uh, uh, see the very important uh, observation that when we represent the signal in a complex exponential then the response of the lta systems uh, basically it is a multiplication of the complex exponential with the uh, frequency response of the system so basically convolution uh, converts into the multiplications right and then we have defined the uh, fourier series representation for the continuous time periodic signals where we have defined the analysis equation and th synthesis equation and based on that we have solved the examples of the uh, computer coefficient of the fourier series right in today's lecture uh, will uh, uh, in that previous example we have computed the fourier coefficient for the periodic signal now we give this fourier coefficient uh, based on this fourier coefficient and representation of the signals in terms of the fourier series we can obtain the response of the lti system so that we uh, uh, discuss in this lecture then uh, we uh, discuss how to compute the fourier coefficient using the analysis equation so that is the uh, directly from the equation another the method when your signal is in terms of the cosine and sinusoidal signal then you can use the another approach to compute the fourier coefficient that approach is basically known as the inspection method and uh, at the end we'll discuss about the condition of the uh, existence of the fourier series uh, this is the sufficient condition uh, for existence of the fourier series and it is known as the dirichlet condition so basically in that case your signal should be uh, bounded and uh, in signal particular for a period uh, in a given period of time you have a finite number of minima and max maxima and for a given period of time you have a finite number of discontinuities if your any signal is satisfied with this condition uh, you have a fourier series you can compute the fourier series so that's all for the today's session we'll uh, discuss uh, Uh, examples of the fourier series and in the next class so thank you